Right. Morning. It's after the afternoon, but never mind. I'm in a stupid mood. Right, seriously, let's get serious. Okay, fine, let's do it, yeah. <sighs> How do we all stop bickering? How do we stop all the arguments? How do we get on? I haven't mastered it. <coughs> Excuse me. The Hebrew versus the Greek mindset. Okay? Greek mindset is our Western world now. One piece of information is in the pigeonhole. New piece of information comes along. No. 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 Door shut. No. Because I know what it is, and for safety, so I don't feel bad, the door shut. Okay. It's not always wrong. The problem is that's the one dimensional way of thinking. And that's, I think, one of the biggest reasons why we're all bickering like little buggers. Seriously. Okay. Um. Right. What's that letter there? Right? Aleph. In the Paleo Hebrew script. Aleph. What does it mean? One of you will tell me. It means one. Okay. Another of you will tell me it means strong. Somebody from over there will come onto the chat, start keyboard worrying, and going, Yeah, you're stupid, actually. And you get that word, like, it's really annoying. Actually, it means power. Okay. Then somebody else will come along and go, It means Elohim, or God. And someone else will come along and goes, Well, it's a picture of an ox's head. It must mean ox. You've all correct. Right? All of you. It's all correct. Different layers. Okay. Now when scripture's concerned, one passage, one word, one letter. Um it it teaches on many layers. I'm totally, utterly convinced. Okay. And I think one of the biggest reasons we argue so much is we just one dimensional Betty's. This, 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 this. But somebody else over here goes, and then this, 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 this. A, 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 B, B, B. Sometimes come together, you get C. That's the answer. Both of them. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the Hebrew word, olam. Okay, what does it mean? Uh, Melech ha olam. King of the universe. Right. Um, some are say, no, no, it doesn't mean universe. Olam actually means everlasting. So it's king of the everlasting, i.e. the everlasting king. And someone will go, nah, nah it means age during. Or someone will go, nah, it means world. Right? Because you check all these lexicons and coordinates up, and it means all these things. Well, is the creator of the universe not the everlasting king? The uh, king of the universe? The king of the world? The one in charge? It's all correct, isn't it? Different layers, right? All correct. Uh, somebody be like, oh no, no, no. Bear with me. I want a bit of scrap paper now. Oh. Eh. Here we go. There we go. Somebody will say. But no, I'll get my last pen out. Just so you can see it easier. Whee! I did actually record this walking down the canal, but there's that much wind, you could hardly hear me sometimes. Okay. It's not actually the letter W. It's a Paleo Hebrew sheen. Right? Now, if you look online and find out what it means, people are going to be arguing like buggery. Oh, it means teeth. And some other people are going to say, ah, this word? Nah, you're all stupid. It don't mean teeth, it just means destroy. And someone goes, nah, it's a teeth, it's cutting and dividing. That's what, you know. And then others go, no, it's fire. 
because fire consumes just like the teeth consume <laughs> the crush and destroy okay again what do I say you're all correct stop arguing okay <clears throat> now sometimes it's true you get an interpretation that is against another one and it completely will not fit so obviously one of you is wrong yes there are those situations but many times a lot of bickering I see is you've been given a piece of the pie you've been given a genuine truth okay him over there he's also been given a genuine piece of that same truth and same and same and same and same all right so you've got a nice nice big pie and you've only got this piece Elohim only gave you that piece he ain't going to give you the whole pie because we ain't going to get everything right not individually somebody else will get the other pie piece and we should all come together search these things out and it'd be better if we realize that there are layered meanings different rungs of the same ladder different layers of the same onion okay it'll stop a lot of arguments it really will same as in, when you interpret a scriptural passage right i'm sick of all these bickering and i'm talking i mean if i point yeah three things point back i mean we all know that so i'm talking to myself as well okay a another one another thing i think will really really help us to get along is if we um we can still debate in things and and you know put forth an opinion and be, be bold about it fine right but i mean the names always cause a lot of argument i have my views and yes i believe important um but to me as long as something's spelled or spelled I mean, we know if, if you've got the same spelling then yeah you can pronounce things differently but if you're trying to talk about the same being well we know who we're trying to talk about right i don't believe that the name Jesus is accurate in the slightest. It's not. But, excuse me. Um, surely, it's the same as Jehovah. I don't think Jehovah is an accurate way of pronouncing the Father's name. The J is only four or five hundred years old. The V is questionable because apparently that pronunciation came later. That's debatable. Right, and if you look in the original King James, it was more like Yahuwah. Very similar to Yahuwah, how I believe his name is to be pronounced. But... Maybe his name is to be pronounced different ways to give a different slant of meaning. Some say, oh, you can't say Yahovah, because Hova means destruction and ruin. So you're saying the Father's destruction, you're dissing him. Well, it can be destruction and ruin. How many times did he say in the scripture, oh, yeah, you know, you keep sinning, I'm going to destroy you. You know, Israel, you keep sinning, you keep doing all this pagan stuff, you keep basically whoring against me, pretty much. Then I'm going to lay your city waste. Right, so he can be destruction room, and I have no problem with that. Just a different aspect of him. That's the nasty side, and you get a lovely side. You get both, right? He also says he creates evil, and <laughs> as well as a good, people don't like that scripture, but it's there. Right? So, if I'm talking to you, and you believe his name is Jehovah, fine. You can say to me, you can, you can get your bar, or you can go, go flick to uh, Isaiah, chapter whatever thus saith jehovah blah 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 all right fine and we can talk about scripture things and i can get my scriptures and go flick to yeshayahu which is a hebrew version of isaiah right and, and then i can say yes but yahuwah says this and somebody else can pipe in and go yahweh said that okay we don't have to agree with each other's slant or interpretation but we can we know we're trying to talk about the same being we can still hopefully get along you know i believe the massage name is most likely yahushua i still accept yahushua and yeshua got no problems with them i just think linguistically yahushua is probably more likely but you can come along and go you can say well jesus bless you and i can say yahushua brach you we don't have to argue about it right it, <laughs> it, it yeah it does get on my nerves. It's like I'm I'm now recording on a Samsung Galaxy S5 mobile phone. Why did I say mobile phone? Because in England, UK, we say mobile phone. If you're from America, you're probably going to say it's a cell phone. Guess what? We both correct. But then somebody else is going to come along here. No, no, it ain't a phone. No, it's a games console. And somebody else will come and go, no, no, it's not a games console, it's an email machine, it's a communication device. And somebody else will go, no, it's not, it's a torch, put your flashlight on. It's a multi-torch, it's all of these things, right? Different layers. So if we can all adopt this mindset and accept that scripture talks, and the words, talks on different layers, right? And accept that 
something's been revealed to this person is different to what he's been revealed to, as long as they don't completely butt heads, the interpretations that is, they can be layered. And it's all true. Excuse me. In some cases, many cases. Um, yeah. And if you don't want to say God because you have a problem with it, say Elohim like I do. The other person can say God. You know who you're supposed to be talking about. You know who you're trying to talk about. If you read in particular scripture, regardless of translation, you know who you're trying to talk about or address. I'm not saying these things don't matter. I still think accuracy is very important for various reasons, but I think we uh, we stab each other too much. You know, we get we get the sword out too much, don't we? Alright, so that's what I wanted to say. Have a good day, tell what you think. And uh, see you in the next vid. Ooh.